This is test one, section three, question 13 from the College Board's official SAT study guide. I'm going to show you how to solve this problem in two different ways. Uh, first by picking numbers, and then we'll do an algebraic solution. Okay, now keep in mind that this is a no calculator problem, so even when we pick numbers, we're going to have to do all of the computations by hand. Um, now the question, we're given that x is greater than three, and we want to know which of the following choices is equivalent to this expression, 1 over 1 over x plus 2 plus 1 over x plus 3. That's a complex fraction. Um, so I'm going to do this first by picking a number. Well, it says x is greater than 3, so the simplest choice that we could pick is x equals 4. So let's let x equal to 4. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is, in the original expression, I'm going to replace x by a 4. So wherever I see an x, I'll put a 4, and uh, I'll have a little bit more room down here. So let me rewrite uh, this expression with the 4 plugged in down here. So we have, let's see, 1 over 1 sixth plus 1 seventh. Um, now, what 1 sixth plus 1 seventh? Let's see, that's 7 plus 6 over 6 times 7, which is 42, or 13 over 42. And we're taking 1 over that, so we need to flip it to get 42 over 13. Put a nice big dark circle around there, so when we compare, we know exactly what we're looking at. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and substitute the same value, x equals 4, into each answer choice. So over here we put a 4, 4, 4, wherever we see an x. On top we have 8 plus 5 is 13. And on the bottom we have 16 plus 20 plus 6, that adds up to 42. Uh, look, it, it almost looks correct, but it's backwards. It's, uh, it's the reciprocal of the answer, so we know that one's wrong. And if you look at choice B, it's exactly the reciprocal of choice A, so we know that that one works. If we look at choices C and D, we could go ahead and plug in the numbers, but clearly when we plug in a 4, those are not going to come out to fractions. So we can delete those and we see that the answer is in fact choice B. Okay, next I'm going to solve this problem algebraically. So to solve this algebraically, I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by the least common denominator of all the simple fractions. There are actually three simple fractions in this problem. We have this one, this one, and this one. And the least common denominator of those three simple fractions is simply the product x plus 2 times x plus 3. So let me go ahead and multiply top and bottom by that, which is equivalent to multiplying each of those three circled red terms by that expression. Okay, on top, if we multiply that out, we get x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 6. And on the bottom, well, we have some cancellation here. The x plus 2's cancel there. The x plus 3's cancel there. And we are left with x plus 3 plus x plus 2. Okay, combining like terms, we have x squared plus 5x plus 6 over 2x plus 5, and that is in fact choice B.